right, welcome back to Seaboys TV. Hope you're well, I'm well. Obviously, I said there's going to be no watch along today. Instead, it's like a vlog at home sort of thing on the game. I'm going to watch it in the front room, I said that, but I'm going to vlog bits that are happening during the game. But the lineup's come out, and that's how I wanted it to be, quite honest with you. So, Allison goal, Trent right back, Matip and Van Dijk at the back, uh, Robertson left back, Fabinho, Henderson, and Ox in that midfield. Um, and in the front three is Mane, Salah, Jota. On the bench, we have Kelleher, Canate, Thiago, Minamino, Timikas, Origi, Phillips, Williams, Tyler Morton. Good to see that he's starting to get into the first team, uh, even if it is on the bench. You know what I'm saying? Good to let him see the experience and maybe get a run out. Especially in these upcoming Champions League games we got because we're through. Uh, I know Klopp still wants to keep the momentum going, but he, I, in my opinion, he should play like a rotated sort of team. Um, but yeah, that's the best lineup I feel we could go for. Obviously, Firmino's out of a hamstring injury. Hopefully, he'll be back soon. Um, Thiago's just come back. Like he looked good against Atletico Madrid, but I don't want to don't want to rush him into this. If need be, maybe bring him on in the second half, um, and he can show that flair that he showed against Atletico. Uh, Ox, hopefully it's a performance like the other day because I thought that was a very good performance from him. Uh, one of his besties he's probably had other than his, his peak season, so to speak, in 18 19. Um, so yeah, but yeah, I'm happy with the lineup. Obviously, a score prediction, I, I have to stay by it. You know what I'm saying? I was saying 3 1 to the Reds. I remember last year I was not confident at all, um, even though we had the away win. That we just beat Tottenham. We had back to back London games. We beat Tottenham 3 1. Then we had West Ham beat them 3 1. But they were the times at home when we were struggling as well. And they were doing, you know, as good as they are doing at the moment. But I still think still think we're gonna do it 3 1. It's gonna be very tough, don't get me wrong. I think it's gonna be like a 1 1 at half time. I think we'll go 1 0 up, then they'll equalise. And then I think later on in the second half, about 15 minutes left, we'll get one. And then we get another one. That's how I think it'll be. I think we'll stay unbeaten. I hope we stay unbeaten. You know what I'm saying? Going into this international break. Come on, you Reds. And just quickly before I end it on to the next bit. Nice. Nice. Lit. Got that for my birthday for my Arnie. Shout out my Arnie. You know, these are nice. You know what I'm saying? But here I go into the front room to watch the game. Come on, you Reds. Right, we're on the way. Come on. Corner here to West Ham. You know what I'm saying? Good block by Van Dyke. Thank God he didn't get spun. They've got to be, they're dangerous from set pieces, man. Got the most, most goals from set pieces. We've got to watch out here. Here we go. Oh, my God. Yes! How's that gone in? How has that even gone in? What's happened there? No, I need to see that again. What has happened there? Oh, my God. What happened there? Just go to the replay. I'm, what? All right, here we go. What happened here? There's not even anything wrong with it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who is helping Allison there? Oh my god. They got VAR. Possible foul. Look, for me, I'll be honest, I don't, I don't see what's wrong with that. What I will say is who's helping Allison? Oh my god. As I say, I don't think anything's wrong with it, to be honest. <sighs> They're literally VAR check. These sort of ones, why, why is the ref not going to the screen? Right. Handball. It's saying possible handball, no, no foul. Possible handball from who? Let's have a look. I can't see any handball there. I'll be real. It's a goal. <sighs> One nil West Ham. Got VAR here. Possible uh, red card for Cresswell. I don't think it was, to be honest. 
uh, far, well, on Henderson, oh, I don't, oh, no, it's all right. I don't think it's anything. I was going to say, it's just, it's just one of them follow-throughs. But Henderson's up, thank God for that. Go on, Salah. Oh. Win it back. Well done, Fabinho. Look at Henderson. Play it in. Play it in. Jota. Oh. Oh. Close. Roof of the net. Right, free kick here to Liverpool in a good position. Uh, Trent is over it. Go for a shot, man. I remember he scored a goal from this angle. Oh, he goes for a shot! Come on! What did I say? Come on, what a goal, mate! What a goal by Trent! Oh, oh my God, Fabianski, I don't think he had any chance. He stood there. What a goal! Come on! Come on, mate! That is what I literally... The words just came out of my mouth and it just happened. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's have a look at that again. So he rolled it to Salah. Salah rolled it back to him. Boy, what a goal, mate. What a goal. Come on. Set piece here. Liverpool. Far out. Uh, Trent will be whipping it in. Before the break, can we get something? Van Dijk. Oh. Henderson. Oh, I thought his Roma scenes all over again. And that is half time. So, half-time thoughts is coming. Right, half-time thoughts at the London Stadium. It is West Ham United 1, Liverpool 1. Now, my thoughts on the first half. Now, we started off well. Uh, and then, obviously, they got the goal. Uh, four nails goal. Um, you know, Alisson was complaining to the ref. I'll be totally real. There was nothing wrong with the goal. Um, what I will say from, obviously, our perspective, what I'm annoyed with is everyone wasn't goal side bar... Um, Van Dyke, and there was no help or support when Allison was jumping up to win it. Hence, why he did because it looked like no one else was going to go for it. Um, so you know it wasn't good. And then after that, we started to, you know, get a lot of the ball, have a lot of chances. Um, you know, there was a few times it's whipped in towards Shutter because uh, we know he's good at heading. Didn't quite get onto him, um, but. Yeah, and then obviously we get the goal later on in the half. Free kick, brilliant free kick by Trent. Um, so he rolled it to Salah. Salah rolled it back to him. Brilliant finish, I was saying, as you lot said. You know, the goal he scored against Chelsea is from that position. Shoot Trent, and he did. Um, but yeah, we've been the better side, um, in my opinion. But yeah, it's just a few little things that I think we need to sort out a little bit. Um, and and yeah, we'll we'll hopefully get this win so yeah that is my half-time thoughts so yeah. Henderson's kicked us off for the second half come on corner again to West Ham now dangerous they are from set pieces and it's nearly happened again they've hit the crossbar I don't even know it was it Rice I think it was Rice let's have a look at this again it was whipped in by four nails yeah I think it was yeah it was so it, well, who was it Ah, it's Rice. Yeah, Rice. See what I'm saying? They're dangerous on them set pieces. West Ham played it here to four nails. Yes! Hey! Uh... Ops off, Thiago on. Mate, hopefully he's going to have that saucy flair like the other day. Uh, I thought Ox has been all right. Um, but there's been times he's tried to cross it and it's just not been good enough. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, hopefully Thiago, he's on the ball now. Hopefully he can do some saucy, saucy stuff. But yeah, it two, I'm down. Good pass there to Salah as well, I'll say that. Go on, go on Salah, go on Salah, go on Salah. This guy, Henderson, whip it. Go on, shut up. Oh, I thought he's in this side netting. Oh. Antonio's going forward again here. What is going on? Great block, Van Dijk. But what, what is going on? Set piece here to West Ham again. Oh. Don't know what's been going on with the defending. Zuma gets a goal. Good header. Dangerous from set pieces. You know, every time I say that, there's a goal. That's just... It's just not good enough. Now I'm here and Origi's coming on. Oh, my God. Minamino coming on for Fabinho. Don't see. Don't get that. Really don't get that. When Fabinho's done well in the midfield, yeah, we're going attacking. But the way we've been getting cut open, we need Fabinho still on the pitch. But 
I don't know, usually Klopp gets it right, but God, the game's done anyway. The game's done. Just under, no, just over, sorry, 10 minutes left, plus added time. 3 1 to them. The game's done, mate. So, like, nice, nice. Shoot! Oh, it's unlucky by Thiago there. Just not enough power. Rigi's got a goal back. Come on. Come on. There's eight minutes left. Oh, oh mate. So I didn't even get it on time because I just didn't expect it. But let's have a look at it. It's a good finish. I'm not going to lie. But he, like, it does score late goals and that. But in the Premier League, his record in the Premier League compared to the like league, like the Champions League and that, his goal stats are not good enough. But that was a good goal there. Good turn. Good finish. Didn't even expect it. I mean, in the bottom right. But we need to wake up. We need to go forward. Yeah. Why are we going so... I know they're playing like a good shape in that West Ham. But we still... Need to go forward. Can't go sideways. We're losing the game. I understand. Good finish there by Rigi. Four added minutes. Uh, Liverpool set piece here. For me, I'd let Salah have this because if Trent goes for it, he's got to go for the far uh, post. There we go. We're about to find out. Unless Trent whips in. He whips in. Money! Oh! Just wide. People, as you know, unless you've been living under a rock, um, West Ham have beaten Liverpool 3-2. And, yeah, that's our unbeaten record gone again. Now, I have to say fair play, West Ham. I'm not saying they had a game plan. It worked. Their shape was well during the game, so fair play to them. Um, but the thing that's just going to be annoying now, I'm going to have it. all the dead teams like Arsenal, you know, Everton fans getting in my face. <laughs> You know I'm beating like like Everton can talk. Do you know what I mean? Like an Arsenal, like you, you just about scrape to win against Watford. Do you know what I mean? But it is what it is. It's football in it. It's banter, I suppose. But you know, it is what it is. We, you know, took an L, first L of the season. It's painful, people. It really is painful. Um, but yeah, like people say, I'm not passionate. Ooh, we sport two teams. Look at me right now. You know what I mean? It's painful, it really is. But as I said, fair play West Ham, they had a shape. Um, they had a you know, way that they were going to play against us and they got a result, so fair play to them. Uh, but I was just talking about the second half as I talked about the first half. Now, I might do like a match reaction to it if I feel like it, like a bit later on in the week or whenever, if I can be bothered. But yeah, four nails with the goal in the second half, um, you know, just why was we so cut open? Allison was unlucky. Um, all the centre backs there were, were well, like in good positions, like Van Dyke, Matip, even Robertson. They were close together, but Trent, I have to be real there. Where was he? Do you know what I mean? Like he was nowhere near him to support him. Um, I know he got that great goal, but the defending from him today was not great. But I'm not hearing this. Oh, he can't defend. He's proven it in the last couple of weeks. He can. Um, so yeah, that happened. And then they go 3 1 up Zuma. A uh, goal from a set piece. Obviously, we know they're very good from set pieces. Uh, got the most goals from set pieces last season, I believe. And they've got the most so far this season. You know, I was calling it. Um, and then, obviously, Rigi gets a late goal. Good turn, good finish. But for me, he's not good enough in the Premier League. Like, it's weird. Like, all the cup competitions, he does well. But his goal record in the Premier League is not good enough. People can sit there and go, oh, he doesn't get enough time. There has been times where he has been given enough time. Like, you look when we lost to Brighton at 1 0 last season. He missed that great one on one chance. I'm never holding that back on him, by the way. Like, great finish today, but it's just not good enough. And he just tries to do all these fancy stuff sometimes. It's like, what are you doing? Like, there was a time the ball got whipped into him today. He's like, don't even know what he's trying to do. Do you know what I mean? I can't even explain it. But yeah, it's another loss. Um, you know. That we've had unbeaten. And then it's just crushed us. Uh, at least it's to a good team this time. Not some, you know, yellow mugs. You know what I mean? But, yeah, it is what it is. As I said, fair play West Ham. They had an, an aim of what they were going to do today. They set up well. You know, they're a good team now. People know that. Um, it's just gutting because now I've got to watch England. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to the game on Friday. So, there's going to be a vlog. But... Just Southgate, how's he still there? How are people still trying to defend him? Like, got to three, three like big competitions. Got far in him. He's bottled him. World Cup. 
I know it's a bit off topic, but I'm just going to go straight into it because that's what I'm going to have to deal with right now. Luton lost as well, so it's not been a good week at all. Um, but yeah, like, obviously Southgate, like, the World Cup, we we was winning. How are we bottling that? You know what I mean? 1-0 up, bottled it. Um, even the Nations League bottled that. I can't even remember who we played in that. I think it was, like, Netherlands or something when they weren't even that great. We played someone who weren't great at the time. You know what I mean? In Euros, we were at home most of our... All of our games, bar, like, one was at home. Like, not good enough. He was the idiot who, who put the players on the wrong penalty. Grealish was like, yeah, I wanted to take penalty. You know, why didn't you let him take penalty? Like, he was confident. Look what he'd done in the um, cup against West Ham. I know they got knocked out, but he scored his penalty. Great penalty. You know what I mean? Like... He put players on that weren't even ready to really take a penalty. They weren't even on for long. Saka, Rashford, Sancho. Like, I rate all them players. All right, Sancho ain't doing great at United. But, you know, like, Saka's a very good young talent. Um, Hence why, at the start of the season, when he was coming out, everyone was cheering him because they know he is the future of England or one of the future players of England. Do you know what I'm saying? Rashford, good player, clinical. But they were not on for long enough. And people still defend this guy. I'll give him the World Cup. Same thing's going to happen. Same thing's going to happen. But, yeah, I had to get that off my chest because, you know, that's what's coming up next. Uh, content coming up. There'll be a Luton show again this week discussing that, that Stoke game. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, yeah, as I said, vlog on Friday. Um, but, yeah, the, I think that's really it that I can think of unless any other breaking news comes out. I know Steve Bruce... Uh, not Steve Bruce, sorry, what I'm on about. Uh, I know... Uh, the Norwich manager and Dean Smith got sacked. Uh, Norwich manager yesterday, Dean Smith today. Um, I might do a video talking about that. If you lot want to see that, let me know. Uh, I know I've longed this last bit out, but you know I needed to discuss things and get stuff off my chest and tell you lot what's coming up. But I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. You probably have because we've lost. Liverpool fans probably gutted like me. Please smash a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new share the channel and yeah i will see you guys soon so take care and peace